hello my dear friends welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to describe different types of error in c language first of all i give the definitions of the error errors are the problems or the faults that occur in the program which makes the behavior of the program abnormal or experienced developers can also make these faults Programming errors are also known as the bugs or faults and the process of removing these bugs is known as debugging. These errors are detected either during the time of compilation or execution. Thus, the errors must be removed from the program for the successful execution of the program. This is the definition of the error. It is also called debugging. That is when we remove the errors, the process of removing of errors is called debugging. There are mainly five types of error in C programming. One, syntax error. Two, runtime error. Three, linking error. Four, logical error. Five, semantic error. I have described one by one. First, syntax error. Syntax error. Syntax error are also known as the compilation error as they occur at the compilation time. Or we can say that the syntax errors are thrown by the compilers. These errors are mainly occurred due to the mistake while typing or do not follow the syntax of the specified programming language. These mistakes are generally made by beginners only because they are new to the language. These errors can be easily debugged or corrected. Syntax error examples. Suppose if we want to declare the variable of type integer, we know that C language is case sensitive. That is, we write it in proper language. That is, we follow small letters. Here we declare int a. Here int written in small letters. This is the correct form. But if we use the i capital int a, this is an incorrect form since we use the capital letter i. And compiler gives an error message for these reasons. Next, commonly occur syntax errors. If we miss the parenthesis while writing the code. We know that we use the second bracket to define the block. Here, if we do not define the second bracket, that is, it cannot define block. So, if we miss the second bracket, this is an error. Next, displaying the value of the variable without its declarations. Suppose we declare a variable int a a equal to 5. If we do not declare int keyword but, or if we do not use the int keyword, then it is an error. Again, if we miss the semicolon at the end of the statement, this is also a syntax error. Suppose there is an example has include stdio.h int main a equal to 10 print the value of a percentage equal to a return 0. Here, we do not define int. So, compiler giving an error message. In the above output, we observe that the code throws the error that a is undeclared. Since here we do not define int keyword. This error is nothing but the syntax error only. Next, I define runtime error. Sometimes the errors exist during the execution time. Even after the successful compilation known as runtime error. When the program is running and it is not able to perform the operation is the main cause of the runtime error. The division by zero is the common examples of the runtime error. These errors are very difficult to find as the compiler does not know the error. Suppose there is an example, int a equal to 2, 
integral 2 by 0. Here we see that the division is by 0. And in mathematics, we know that we cannot divide any number by 0, that is, it is give the result infinity. For this reason, when we run the program, the uh, during runtime, it shows message division by 0. This is an example of runtime error. Next, linking error. Linking error are mainly generated when the executable file of the program is not created. This can be happened either due to the wrong function prototyping or uses of the wrong header file. Second, the most common linking error that occurs is that we use the main M capital instead of small main M I N. That is when we writing the program, I use the keyword int main, where main is the small letters, but if we write it in capital letter, this is also linking errors. Again, we know that printf scanf functions, which are used for display input and output, we write printf p is capital, then it is also a linking error. And if we do not uh, this do not write the header file corresponding of it, it is uh, also a linking error. Suppose there is an example int main m here m is capital, so compiler giving at this point linking error. Next logical error. The logical error is an error that leads to an undesired output. That is, we calculate the desired output, but due to my logical errors, we cannot uh, proper output. This error produces the incorrect output, but they are error free, known as logical error. This type of mistakes are mainly done by beginners. The occurrence of these errors mainly depend upon the logical thinking of the developers. If the programmer sound logically good, then there will be fewer, ch fewer chance of this error. Suppose, in this program, if we want to calculate the sum of the 10 numbers, but due to our logical errors, we cannot get the proper output. Since you see that for loop, for int i equal to 1, i less than 10, i plus plus semicolon. Here semicolon so that the program does not give the proper results, but it is an error free program. In the above program, we are typing to print the sum of 10 digits, but we got the wrong output as we put the semicolon after the for loop. So the inner statement of the for loop will not execute and produce the wrong output. Last, semantic error. Semantic error are the error that occurred when the statements are not understandable by the compiler. The following cases are defined as syntax error. Here case, we declare a variable, suppose int i equal to int i, i equal to i plus 2. This is giving an error message since we cannot initialize the value of i so it show the garbage value so it is also a semantic error next type comparability error that is int b equal to java point here b is the integer values and we know that integer value take values from ranges 0 to 9 but here we define a string message so it gives an error message in since it cannot convert it next error int a comma b comma c a plus b equal to c this is also an syntax error since we know that the addition of two numbers can be written as c equal to a plus b but here we write as a plus b equal to c this is also an syntax error again array index out of bounds suppose int a equal to 10 a 10 equal to 34 here it is also an syntax error since we write it as a 0 equal to 34, but where we write a 10 equal to 34. Here, it is also shows as semantic errors. Thank you all. 
see you again next video